Hey, welcome back to Life Reimagined. We hope you already checked out our channel trailer. Um, and with this video, we wanted to take the opportunity to introduce ourselves a little bit more, uh, tell you a bit more about who we are, what we are planning to do, what this channel will all be about, and what you can expect um, to come in the next few months from us. So then, Hannah, tell me about yourself. Right, well, I'm Hannah. I'm 27 years old. I was born and raised in Germany, which is also where I met Jack. And I worked in human resources for a while, but I'm currently finishing a degree in um, social innovation. But most of all, what I'm really passionate about is food. I'm a big foodie. I love everything that's related to food. So cooking, trying out new recipes, creating new recipes, but I'm also really interested in nutrition and how we can use food to boost our health. So one of my big dreams is to have my own vegetable patch, grow my own fruits and veggie. That would be the dream for me. Um, apart from that, I'm also a fairly active person. I like being outside, going for a bike ride, going for walks, for hikes, uh, and just generally being outside, outdoors in nature, which is funny because when I was younger, I've always wanted to live in a, in a big city. I could never imagine living somewhere outside of the city, but the older I got, the more and more I really enjoy nature, uh, the peace and quiet. So this is kind of where I see myself long term. It's funny because Hannah's actually quite introverted and the most I ever get to talk is when I put her in front of a camera. So it's fantastic. This is great for me. <laughs> all talking about food. All talk, yeah, <laughs> all talking about food. <laughs> so do you want to tell a little bit about yourself? Yeah, why not? Um, I'm Jack Reeves, I'm 34 years old, from the north of England, um, as you can probably tell from my very thick uh, Yorkshire accent. It's actually got a lot better than it used to be, uh, no one could ever understand me. Um, but yeah, so I moved out of the UK about 10 years ago um, and went travelling, saw the world a little bit for a few years and then decided to settle in Austria. I uh, worked in snowboarding for a while before moving to Germany and met Hannah. Uh, we did a year apart for a while, I moved to Switzerland and then we decided we wanted to be together so we moved all the way over to Canada where some of my family also lives and lived there for a while. Got married. Um, nowadays I run my own marketing agency, digital marketing agency. Uh, my background is in design and programming and kind of now it's more in project management, how those things all mix. Uh, my passions just generally is learning things. Um, I like learning new skills, I like making new things, you know, so that's design, photography, videography, making bread generally. These are the kind of things I really enjoy. Um, I enjoy it when Jack makes bread, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite a foodie household. So I guess what you're all asking is what on earth are we planning? You know, we teased a lot in that last video. So Hannah, um, what are we planning? Well, so about a year ago, we bought a plot of land in the south of Portugal, which you've probably already seen from the trailer. Um, it's about 1.6 hectares. It's in the Algarve region, so the, the southern region of Portugal. It has a little small ruin on it and a small lake. Um, and yeah, we are aiming to create a little eco-resort there, which will consist of four bungalows um, and a little house that we can live in ourselves and a pool. We are planning to revitalize the land. It's been quite neglected the last few years, so it's very overgrown, lots of brambles, lots of yeah, just stuff growing everywhere. So we want to revitalize it and make it into a little, little piece of paradise where people can come to on holiday to really relax and rejuvenate in nature, enjoy the beautiful weather, the beautiful sunshine, the beautiful coastline. Um, yeah, that's kind of the aim. Yeah, like the land itself is quite, it's a really beautiful um, part of the world down there, but the land itself, like, there's been nothing really grown on there for probably a generation. Um, the previous owner uh, was an old lady that I don't think had the time to manage the land. So when you see it, the, the water management isn't great there, being in a dry climate, 
and there's no real irrigation going on so it's just really hardy weeds that have taken over but if you look at the surrounding area um, there's lots of farming going on there uh, we quite often when we're down there visit the local market and you can see all year round there's there's tons of fruit and veg being grown um, you know the neighboring fields have have lots of like, vines and things yeah so hopefully fingers crossed we can we can really turn the land around yeah that's one thing we would also really like to do grow our own fruits and veggies we are quite interested in permaculture and want to utilize some of those principles and try and work with nature instead of against it. Um, yeah, we watch a lot of yeah. stuff on YouTube um, on permaculture and, you know, films like the, the Biggest Little Farm, you know, we find those things really inspirational and we'd like to try and do something, you know, just even 10% as good as what those guys can do. Uh, I don't know, I'll feel better about, you know, my place in the world. Um, rather than just you know living in the city and yeah living the nine to five lifestyle yeah i think in general with building this resort and revitalizing the land we want to try and do it in a in a way that has the least impact on the earth uh, as much as as much as possible i mean we're quite minimalist anyway um i just basically have 20 pairs of black t-shirts uh, we don't I've have pairs of white, white t-shirts yeah <laughs> We, we don't have, you know, lots and lots of nice things. We, we've basically not had a car um, until very recently, and that was only for the move. Um, yeah, we really try to, to, to limit our consumption. Yeah, I think we kind of want to live in a way that, that we can feel good about the choices that we make, that we feel like we've made the, yeah. the right choices that we can, we can live with. We know that we're trying our best to, to limit our impact on, on the planet. And, Maybe we can be a little bit of a role model for other people, but we, we're not really saying everyone has to live this way or just as sure as possible. That's the only way, the only yeah. right way. Leading by example, I guess. Yeah. And again, you know, that's kind of how we've managed to do all this project really so far, um, you know, save up the money. Um, you know, we've been fortunate, we've had some good luck um, mm -hmm. along the way in terms of business. Some good um, opportunities. Yeah, worked hard, but you know, we, we haven't been frivolous. We don't eat out very often. Hannah's such a great cook that we, you know, the best kitchen in Germany is, is right next door. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice way to be minimalism, but it's also, you know, helped us achieve this objective. When we first kind of started planning this, like, you know, seven years ago was like a rough plan, kind of like a dream. And then five years ago, it became more practical. Um, I think, you know, we thought it was a 10, 20 year plan, but, you know, due to some good luck, some hard work and some probably thriftiness along mm. the way, um, we've managed to, to get it done, you know, in almost five now. We're just hopefully starting the project. Yeah, I guess it really helps to live that way as well when you have this bigger goal that you're focusing on and you have the why. Yeah. Why are you doing all this? Why are you maybe not? going on holiday twice a year or you go on a cheaper holiday or you don't buy this thing that you don't really need if you know what you're saving up for. So I guess what you're probably also interested in is what to expect from this channel, what kind of content we will be uh, making for you. So do you want to tell them a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, when we first started out, it was really difficult to get a lot of this information. You know, you have a, the language barrier, you have, you know, changing times, um, having to sift through a lot of that information in different sources is really difficult. Um, but we've, you know, been to lawyers, we've talked to real estate agents, we, we got a lot of this information together from the architect. So we thought we'd help by um, going through the process, you know, doing a video on how, um, how to find a lawyer, what questions to ask, uh, how does property tax work, how to find the land in the first place. Um, different types of land, what you can build on different types of land is a question that uh, often comes up and I see the wrong answers being posted there. What's legal, you know, how to register as a resident in Portugal, those kind of questions will all, will all be a big part of it. And mm -hmm. um, what else have we got? Yeah, but also to just take you along in general to, to share our experiences, like you said, the lessons that we've learned. Um, maybe also encourage people to, to 
just dream big and uh, some people think we are a bit crazy and we probably are a little bit naive but it's also a great adventure and it's something that we feel very strongly about and something we really want to try so maybe we can encourage some people to just try the things they really want to try and if it doesn't work out then it doesn't work out but then at least you've tried it's definitely gonna be mistakes i mean life is for living yeah. so you know i'd rather do risk and try do something that we really enjoy and it's really cool rather than playing it safe all the time. Exactly. So, yeah, it'd be good to catalogue this. I'm looking forward yeah. to looking back, you know, in the future, seeing <laughs> this, seeing, seeing how uh, naive we were. Yeah, that uh, would be funny. Yeah, some more adventures. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot more content that we will be putting out the next few weeks and months. We have a lot of ideas what we can tell you. Uh, at the moment, we are still in Munich, but we're looking to move down to Portugal full time, hopefully in August. We are also looking into options, how we can live on the land before we start the whole building process or until the buildings are finished and we can move into them. So we can keep you updated on the research there and what options we might have and how all of this is going. Another thing that I think is really important to us is the community. You know, we don't know everything. We are definitely going to make mistakes. So if you have any suggestions, uh, if you see any mistakes, please let us know in the comments. Uh, but also if you have any ideas about what you know we should do for content if you have some questions mm -hmm. that you'd like to us to answer then uh, yeah definitely you know hit the like hit the subscribe write a comment mm -hmm. um, i'm looking forward to building a really strong community yeah or if you've done something similar or you're in the process of doing something similar whether it's in portugal or somewhere else in the world um, it'd be really nice to to connect or if you just live in the region as well and you're interested just be nice to, to connect with, with other people that do similar things, live in a similar region. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, great. Well, thank you for watching this video. Yeah. Looking forward to taking you on this journey with us. Yeah. And stay tuned for a lot of more content coming soon. And hit subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>